Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna showcase, I think it's called the Levoisseur Antoinette, something like that. And it's a really old ass plane, and yeah, I kinda like it. Um, but I'm just gonna give you a showcase of the plane and uh, tell you if it's worth downloading or not. So, first we got this uh, sort of 2D panel, which is nothing really. So it's two gauges, it's not really much of a 2D. Well, what kind of 2D panel do you need for such a plane? The virtual cockpit looks actually pretty good, I think. It looks pretty good. Even though there's no uh, uh, aileron or rudder or, or elevator animation turning here for the inside, that's. Nah. It's not that much of a downside, but I mean, that would have been cool if they had animated like turning and stuff, but okay. And, uh, yep. We have all the gauges that are necessary, a pitch indicator, clock, I think that's speed. Are you serious? A speed gauge on a plane like this? And we got a magnet comp, that's okay. Altitude meter, air, what's air? That's fuel tank, there's barely anything in it. We got the altitude, air speed, I doubt this thing will even get up to like 100, that'd be funny. So yeah, now we're going to go out ahead and start up this aircraft. Oh yeah, and don't forget, there's also moving crap. Like, yeah, that's good. We're just in some random place where I used to live, but now let's start the plane. Starts like normal, and it also has a rotating piece inside the engine, which is a nice touch. Engine looks good. I think the plane overall looks actually nice. The textures and all that look good. That that's a that's a upside. So let's start the plane. Let's get this going. The sound in the inside isn't too realistic, even though it is the default sound. The outside sound sounds good for the plane. The inside, not so much. But let's just get this thing off the ground and check out the performance of the plane. I've flown it a couple times before, so I think I know how it is. It's not, this doesn't take off by itself, you have to give it some up. So yeah, now we're flying, and if you have noticed, there's like a scarf on the guy, and it's like waving, that's pretty cool, I like that. Is this plane, can this plane do a barrel roll? If it can, then it's not realistic. Let's try. It barely even turns, the damn thing barely turns. That's quite realistic. The damn thing barely turns. See, let's okay. Now I'm just gonna try the rudder here. It's not. It's quite effective. Not very though. See what? Let's see the stall. Stall. This thing stalls. I don't really want it. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess it stalled right there. I think it did. <laughs> try and turn this thing around. Try and land it on that place again. I can turn it around, that is. <laughs> Sorry for the bad FPS. For some reason, the game is not the game, but there's something. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Something is making the game run slower than it usually does. I don't know what it is, but sorry for that. If it bothers you. And now, we're on to the landing. See the speed gauge? Wait, are you serious? Let's see the speed. Oh, 68 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for such an old ass plane. Plane that's 103 years old, 1909. Is there a brake on this thing? No. Realistic. No flaps. Good. What kind of 1909 plane even needs flaps? Oh, I landed off the runway. Ah, but hell. These kind of planes land on grass anyway. But it would have been nicer to land on the asphalt, I guess. It wasn't. Yeah, whatever. But, yeah, the plane kind of looks like a boat. Take off the wheels and you can probably think, turn this into a boat. I don't know. But that's about it, guys. And uh, I think it's kind of worth downloading. I think it's good. If you like old planes, this is worth downloading. But if you don't, then this is not really for you. But anyway, guys, see you guys later. And I don't know where this came from. I think this uh, plane came from, yeah, it was lightsim.com. That's it for today, guys. See you guys later.